All right, as we begin this selectivation, I'm just gonna invite you to just settle into your body. You know, you've just finished a week, uh, first week of this, this challenge, and, um, and I just want you to observe the progress that you've made so far, just by intentionally making the decision every day to show up for yourself. And the purpose of these soul activations is what? Like, I'm, I'm curious for you, like what have you decided is the purpose of soul activations in the morning? Like, I'm, I'm curious, because I know what it means to me. I know the reason why I do it. I know the reason why I look forward to it. But I'm curious, like, why, why is it important for you? To kick off the day in a powerful state, I love that. To show up for myself and for God. To experience the vibe of my tribe. I love it. Just going to be uplifted and centered. To come alive and truly live. Centeredness and groundedness. To sharpen the saw. Community of light. It orients me and reminds me. It reminds me of a supportive community to be with all of you, to align with my greatest capacity, it really helps me show up for me, start my day out of my comfort zone, to be connected on money level, because I love seeing all your beautiful faces. Best way to start my day. So once again, I'm just gonna invite everyone of you, just tune in and decide what it means for you. Like this journey of soul activation, this is about you. And for me, what I discovered is I had always had my power hour practice, you know, I've been, I've been teaching that for over a decade and it's something that's always helped me to know how to like really show up as a producer in my life. But it wasn't until we did the 21 day challenge that I started doing it together as a tribe and had this morning experience where we could breathe together, where we could meditate together, where we could activate our souls together. And, and, um, and something happened in me as a result of it. I'm gonna invite you to explore like what's been happening in you because of these experiences. What happened in me, just having these experiences, no matter who was leading this whole activation, it was this time for me to lean in and to get intentional about my day, to get intentional about what I was creating with my life, to get really intentional about checking in and understanding what vibration of creation I was in and, and recognizing how easy it is for me after having 15 years of personal development, you know, where this is my full time, like I am one of the lucky ones. I get to do personal development for a living. I get to learn for a living. I get to teach people for like, I, I immerse myself every day in this. I've invested over $400,000 into mentorship and coaching and seminars and, and I teach it. And I've led, you know, over 150 work. And for me, I still wake up at a level two or three state a lot of days. I still wake up feeling this low vibration, feeling overwhelmed or feeling stressed. I still experience this. And so I know that I'm not alone. And what I discover is this experience of coming together and doing soul activation together every day has been, has been this invitation to my soul to stay aligned more consistently. Have you experienced that too? Like, I just want to check in. I want to make sure I'm not alone. Have you experienced that these mornings, that these opportunities to come together and connect? It's like putting this little tiny pause in our life and saying, it's time for me to come back home. It's time for me to come back home, come back to myself. And so in the space of, of being an intentional, conscious creator and claiming control over life, it's never been more important. And thank heavens, thank heavens for the coronavirus. Thank heavens for COVID for giving us this great pause in our life to come back home and to remember. Thank heavens that it's brought this tribe together. Thank heavens that you and I have accepted the invitation to step up and to become stronger and more powerful because of it. And I've used this analogy a lot, but I wanted you to understand the importance of this analogy. I talk about the caterpillar and the journey of a caterpillar and, and how a caterpillar spends his whole life just crawling along doing what it does and there comes a moment where the world of the caterpillar feels the caterpillar feels like it, it's time to shift it's time to change it's time to evolve and so it goes into this cocoon and pot puts pause on his life it goes into this chrysalis where its entire world begins breaking down how many of you have experienced like this accelerated change in your life over the last month and a half two months how many of you have experienced this i'm just checking in Right? How many of you experience that some things that you used to rely on or think were normal no longer exist anymore? Like there's, there's, this, there's this unraveling of our identities that's happening in this soul activation time 
is a gift where we can intentionally navigate the shifts and changes so that when we emerge on the other side of the chrysalis, we're stronger and more powerful and more vibrant than ever before. So let's make sure that we utilize these times every morning as a chance to come back home, to come back to that part in us, which is unstoppable. And I'm looking at your faces right now. I'm looking at each one of you. And I don't know exactly what's happening in your life. I don't know exactly what you're going through in your businesses. I don't know exactly what's happening in your families. I don't know exactly what you're experiencing in your bodies, your health, or, or in the other areas. Like, I don't know the specifics in your life. But what I do know is I see you as a catalyst for awakening in your world. I see you as a leader. I see you stepping forth and and sharing your gift and your light with your family and your friends. I see you as this individual that is committed to rising above the chaos and continuing to step into being the most powerful version of yourself. So let's use this time that we've come together each morning as a chance to come back home and remember. All in favor, say aye. <laughs> aye. Aye, all right, thank you so much. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. We're going to begin. And once again, the soul activation process is, is utilizing breath, utilizing this, this energy inside of us. And remember, we are all energetic beings. At our core, we are nothing but energy. We're nothing but energy. And sometimes we, uh, we look at this flesh suit that we wear, and, and it feels heavy. It feels overwhelming. It feels stressful. Sometimes, sometimes we get out of balance within our body. But in this moment, I'm just going to invite you to lean into this concept of the vibration of creation and just practice raising that energetic frequency within your soul. And so as we do the breath work, as we focus our energy and, and focus, I'm just going to invite you to imagine that you have this magic dial in your life. Everyone, put your hand out right now. I'm looking at you. Hold, hold your hand out right now. And I just want you to imagine that you've got this dial there, that you can adjust your emotions. You can adjust your vibration of frequency. You have the choice. And so if you start at level four, I'm going to imagine that, have you imagine in your mind's eye that you're just cranking that dial up, just crank it up all the way to level 10 and just be a level 10 just because you have that intention. And just notice this concept of emotional sovereignty, this concept of unreasonable happiness. You have a choice in how you feel and how you experience today. And the breath work and all these other experiences are, are tools that we use to just allow us to just bring that energy within our body. So I'm just gonna invite you right now to uh, take a big deep breath in and feel that energy filling your body. And as you exhale, just simply let go. And in this moment, breathe in deep and full. Just feel that energy expand your lungs and see how big you can expand your being right now. And as you exhale, just release all of that energy and settle down into your body and feel the weight of your body whether you're standing, pressing on the, your feet on the earth, or you feel your seat on the chair right now, just allow yourself to simply feel. That sense of excitement and enthusiasm in your life as you step into being present. We're gonna do 30 cycles of breath right now. This first cycle, once again, is all about presence. Get present in your body, get present in your soul. 30 breaths, ready, begin. <sighs> Ten more. Breathe all the way in, breathe all the way in, and hold it. you slowly release so that sense of power and certainty flowing through your body as you feel that energy filling up every soul just imagine every one of these cells within your being is being activated at this moment raising your frequency raising your vibration the second cycle of rest we're going to be focusing on gratitude how much gratitude how much joy 
How much abundance can you choose to experience now? 30 breaths, ready, begin. Five more, slow down. Breathe all the way in and just hold it. And as you continue to hold that, feel your gratitude swell throughout your entire brain. Imagine that gratitude even expand 10 times brighter and stronger right now. Feel that joy emerging from your heart. How much gratitude can you feel for your body? How much gratitude can you feel for your relationships and the people you love? How much gratitude can you experience for your family and for your home, for the opportunities you have today? And let that gratitude expand so it fills the entire world. How much gratitude can you experience for this day? Now in this final cycle, of 30 breaths. Let's focus on what it is you're wanting to call forth and manifest as the conscious creators of your life. What does your legendary life look like? Allow that vision to become bright and strong and clear. Envisioning that healthy, sexy, vital, energetic body. Envision those amazing, dynamic, connected relationships. Envision the abundance and wealth of living your purpose. Envision that all right now. We do this final cycle of 30 breaths. Ready? Begin. Last 10. Slow it down. all the way in just hold it as long as you can just imagine yourself being a magnet pulling into your life everything you desire stand in a pose of victory stand in a pose of having acclaimed and achieved those things you want in your life stand in your powerful pose feeling and commanding that energy in your body right now From this space, claim, claim who you really are. Place your hands on your heart right now. Place your hands on your heart and as you place your hands on your heart, just feel within yourself this energy, the energetic being that you are. Feel the energy of healing and all of this light energy flowing through every cell. Feel the energy of love coursing through your veins this vibration of gratitude. Feel the true abundance that exists in this world that you get to partake of. Experience all of that right now. As you place your hands on your heart, just feel that energy. Simply repeat after me, I am a conscious creator. I create the life that I choose. I am powerful. I am a magnet for love. 
I create legendary relationships. I intentionally invest every day into the relationships that matter most. I create legendary health. I am strong and energetic. Every day I get stronger and stronger. I create legendary wealth. I'm a magnet for abundance. I share my value with the world. It's easy for me to create the life that I choose. All I need is within me now. All I need is within me now. All I need is within me now. All the love I need is within me now. All the love I need is within me now. All the joy I need is within me now. All the joy I need is within me now. All the energy I need is within me now. All the energy I need is within me now. Just in this moment, feel that energy flowing through your body. Just feel yourself being exactly where you should be. And welcome home. Welcome home. All right, so check in right now on a scale of one to 10. How are you feeling in this moment? Just imagine that you have the dial in your life. Go ahead and check in. I love that. I love that. And just, I'm just going to invite you to lean into this concept of, of just emotional sovereignty. And, and what I want to emphasize is there's no bad emotions. I, I know that Jolt just commented in the comments below. And there's some times where it feels like, it feels like we get stuck and it feels like sometimes even these activations don't, don't shift us. But I want in this, in this journey of emotional sovereignty, What's important to understand is there are no bad emotions. Sometimes feeling sadness and feeling the depth of sadness is the gift, right? Sometimes being in these different states, but it's important for us to understand that we as energetic beings, we have the capacity for all of these emotions within us. And, um, and I, I wanna just dig into this concept of, of manifesting the life that we choose today. You know, as we dig in today, I'm just gonna invite you to just check in and, and just notice like what do we manifest and attract when we're in a high vibrational state it's just how many of you notice when you're showing up at a level 10 in your life you just start attracting different opportunities and different experiences and different people in your life how many of you have noticed that i, I would love i would love to actually get a couple shares from some of you and have you just share what you experience when you're you're living in your high vibe life jennifer g i would love for you to share real quick just take yourself off mute Did you see that? Did you see my biggest fan? <laughs> you got some big fans <laughs> in your life, huh? <laughs> well, the last time that I did, well, the very first time that I did this call, um, I felt like I went from a 7 to a 10 in this short 15, 20 minutes. And um, that day, I told myself I'm going to attract two clients and make $1,500. <laughs> what it happened. So... What I've recognized is when I'm at my level 10, um, I already know how to manifest things, but manifesting what I actually want and not just like the base survival stuff, but, but the beyond survival, the abundance piece comes when I'm in a level 10. Mm, yeah, I want you to, everyone just check in with what Jennifer's saying right now. Like, like just recognize this, how... When we're at a level 10 and, and we set forth those intentions, it's, it's almost like these are what I call miracles, right? Those, those miracles that are unexpected things that just happen that align with those intentions. The other thing that's important to remember, I'm sorry to interrupt you, is that it actually can be easy because you think, oh, to attract these kind of clients, I have to work hard. I have to do a bunch of stuff, but it actually can be easy when you become the vortex, you become the portal that everything draws to you. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I want to get one more share. Uh, Scott Murphy, I want you to share just real quick, brother. 
would love for you to share like what you notice when you when you're when you're intentionally operating as your level 10 self yeah i i I love what Jennifer's saying and it reminds me, it's always an amazing reminder that, that it can be easy. It doesn't have to be hard to have value and things just sort of flow. Just, hey, I'm thinking about that thing and that person walks by and here I am and I'm connected and everything's just going. I'm not trying so hard, I'm just being. It's so beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, the Mastery Hour today, Dan is gonna be talking about being in the state of flow and creation, right? We're always in either force or flow. Flow is so much easier and so much more fun, but it requires us to intentionally become bigger than our problems. Um, and gratitude is one of our core keys for being able to experience that. This is why we begin every call before soul activation is stepping into a space of gratitude because gratitude is this master antidote for a lot of the toxic energy that sometimes we get stuck in. So what we're gonna be doing right now is I want everyone that's here to have an opportunity to um, share what you're grateful for. So we're gonna be breaking into small breakout rooms and you're just gonna go around and have each person in your breakout room in 30 seconds or less, just express what you are most grateful for. So we're only gonna be spending a few minutes here, so you're gonna to have to go really fast, but this is a beautiful way for you to connect with your tribe and for each one of you to give voice to that which you're most grateful for and, and see what you can learn from other people. So go to your breakout rooms now. <laughs> I, want to, I want you to share how you're feeling and how you're doing and like what's on your heart right now. Um, I'm doing good. I get surgery on Wednesday. So I'm very grateful for that. And I'm just, I'm grateful for all this time that I've had to spend with my kids and connect with my husband and my family. And it's just been awesome. And I'm grateful again for you doing this every morning. It's really helped me stay in a good place. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And it's, it's nice, especially, you know, when we go through like really rough times, you know, go through unexpected, unexpected journeys when we have... I, I look at every, I, I've never had cancer, so I don't know what that journey is like. Um, but I look at every challenge that I have as this unexpected gift from the universe that comes in packaging that I might not have chosen, but like this, this belief that somehow the universe is giving some unexpected gift to me in that. And for whatever reason, that helps me with my perspective and being able to navigate that. Um, some of you are like, oh, we need more time. I know you need more time. I just wanted you to just really quickly have a chance to give voice. But we do have some things I want to cover today. Because today I want to share with you one of the most important tools for manifesting and give you a challenge that today is, is going to be one that you're going to love. It's one that we did during the 21-day challenge that was one of the most impactful and favorite for people. And it's a tool that I use a lot in my life. And it's just like this accelerator. For, for being able to manifest and attract things in our life. And what I wanted to start the foundation of this conversation around is, is helping you understand this, this little part in the back of our brain called the reticular activating system, or the RAS. Many of you have heard of this before. Like if this is like a, a part of the brain that we talk a lot about in terms of goal setting. Because the reticular activating system, if you can imagine, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a heat seeking missile. Like it, it's, it has this ability to like seek and find whatever it is we program it to experience. And the way I compare it to it's it's like a, a Google search engine, right? And whatever you type in, whatever we plug into that reticular activating system is what our brain becomes hyper tuned to discover and find. And, um, and the, the reality is like our brain has infinite capacity to to be able to experience things like there there's no super computer in the on the planet that is as powerful as our brain and in order for our brain to operate it needs to filter out most information so the subconscious mind which generates all of the you know experiences stores every memory every thought everything that you've ever experienced or observed the, the subconscious absorbs and retains all that the conscious mind is like the just like what you see on the computer screen. Like when you look at the computer screen, it's just what's on the screen. The subconscious is everything underneath the surface. And so in order for us to just even operate as human beings, 
our subconscious has to filter out 99.9% of all information and only find that information that's most relevant. Okay, this is important because as it, as it tunes into manifesting, our reticular activating system is, is really fine-tuned to create awareness of those things that are, are relevant. This is why, how many of you have experienced this? Like where um, you all of a sudden you get a brand new car and you're so excited about it. And then all of a sudden you see all of the other cars on the road of that same type. How many of you have ever experienced that? Right? You were really unaware of it before, but then all of a sudden it became relevant to your brain. And so you see it all over the place, right? So you see that all the time. Like, <laughs> um, and, and we experience this all over our life in so many different ways. Um, but the, the thing is, I've, I've asked this question before, but how many of you want to learn how to be masters of manifesting in your life? Chime in the chat below. Absolutely, yes. Like we all want to be, a, but the reality is you already are a master manifester. But the challenge is our reticular activating system has been pre-programmed with some viruses. It's been pre-programmed to find pain. It's been pre-programmed by all of these different limiting beliefs. And so if we have a certain belief that's lodged in our subconscious that says life is hard or there's never enough money or I can't trust men or women are crazy or whatever our subconscious limiting belief is, then our entire system is driven to manifest according to those, that blueprint. So at some level, if you look around your life, everything in your life is built on what's been pre-programmed there in your, in, your, in your subconscious operating system. And the challenge is this, if we continue to unconsciously create, what, what do we end up creating more of? Exactly what we already have, right? So yeah, Jennifer G's typing in some of these like limiting beliefs. I'm unloved, I'm unloved, uncared or alone, I'm unworthy. Um, all of these different things. And Heidi, like, like this, is, this is really honest for you to say. I'm, I'm pretty sure I attracted cancer. This is something we don't like to acknowledge, but if we are truly like, like the master manifestors of our life, if we're holding on to these unconscious stories and blocks, then a lot of, a lot of illnesses that happen in our body are because of these pre-programmed limiting beliefs and because of storing toxic emotions, right? Um, and likewise, a lot of the healing comes when we can release that energy and allow our body to heal appropriately. Uh, and there's a lot of, lot of really amazing studies that, that go along with that. But the, the tool that I, I want to share today is a tool designed to help reprogram the subconscious. I've been studying neuro-linguistic programming, hypnosis, all these subconscious reprogramming tools for over a decade. And there's one tool which is one of the most simple on the planet, one of the most underrated, one that anyone can do, but most people don't do. And it's the power of questions. Tony Robbins talks a lot about this. He says, the quality of our life is based on the, for those of you that know the quote, what's the finish the quote? The quality of our life is based on the quality of the, type it in someone, the quality of the questions we ask, right? The quality of our life is based on the quality of questions we ask. Yeah, thank you. And the reality is most of us, because of these pre-programmed limiting beliefs, we ask really shitty questions. If you ask shitty questions, what type of <laughs> results are you gonna get? Right, it's just like, it's like typing into a Google search engine, why does my life suck? You know, if you type into Google, why does my life suck? Google's going to generate, you know, 452,678 reasons why your life sucks. Likewise, why can't I trust men? Or why are all men, like, and there's all these broken, why is marriage so hard? Or, or you know, why can't I ever get ahead? Or why doesn't anyone want me? Or why does, go ahead and chime, chime in. Like, if you've ever asked yourself, even unconsciously, a lousy question, go ahead and chime in below. Like, what was that question? What was that question you asked? It's like, why is this so hard? Why is this happening to me? Why me? Why am I stuck? Why do I keep doing this? Why can't I make this happen? Why, why, why am I not worthy of this? Why are people untrustworthy? Why can't I just finish something? Why, right, and just notice. 
Like when we ask these questions, your brain, it's doing its job to find validation. It will search all of the hard drive, all of the files in your brain to give you evidence of that. That's your brain's job. And so this journey of being a conscious creator versus an un unconscious reactor is learning to harness the power of our intention through questions and being very deliberate and only asking questions that we actually want to find the answers to. Try that on. Only ask questions that you want to find the answers to, that you want to find validation for. There's, a, there's something that we say at Legendary. For all of you that are coming to the three-day Legendary virtual event next week, uh, we're, we'll be digging into more of these subconscious reprogramming tools. But there's this quote that I share there that is kind of foundational to what we, what we train on at Legendary, which is this quote. Write this down because this is like when you really, really embrace and understand this, it will change your life. So write this down. Every thought that I think, every word that I speak, and every question that I ask is a seed for creating my future reality. Every thought that I think, every word that I speak, Every question that I ask is a seed for creating my future reality. These are like these little subconscious seeds that we put in the ground. So anytime we think, oh my gosh, my life is so hard, great. We're planting that seed so we keep experiencing more of that. Anytime we speak the words, I can't do this, we're planting the seed so that, begins, that is the fruit that we then reap. Anytime we ask the question, why can't I make things happen? Or why can't I get ahead? Or why is money so difficult? Or why? Then all of a sudden we're programming that and we then create this garden full of fruit that is rotten. <laughs> how many of you, at least in some area in your life, let's be honest, how, how many of you, at least in some area in, in your life, have fruit showing up in the garden of your life that you, you want to change, you want to have different? And it could be like, not having the relationship you want. It could be having an illness or sickness, right, Heidi? Or it could be, um, you know, having a, a sense of being a battle within yourself. Maybe it's a sense of having roller coaster income or not having a job or whatever it is. Like the, all of these results, are, these are the fruit that show up in our life. And in order to program that, then we need to plant new what? We need to plant new seeds, right? And when, I love, I love this quote that says, the best time to plant an apple tree was when? Best time to plant an apple tree is 10 years ago. The second best time is when? Today. Now, right? Exactly. So the second best time is like, if, if you're not experiencing the results you, you want right now, it's because you planted seeds in the past that generated this fruit. All fruit in your life is a reflection of your past way of thinking, believing, and behaving. All fruit in your life is a, is, is a reflection. It's the fruit that's shown up in your tree because of these seeds that you planted and nurtured in the past. Your past way of thinking, believing, and behaving. That's what generated this reality for you. Everything you experience in your world is a reflection of who you used to be. Now, if we wanna be something different, we need to be so deliberately intentional with the words we speak. So that's why if, you, if you're in my presence at all, like, <laughs> like I was on a couple call, calls this week with some people that um, had, had uh, set up a, an appointment to meet with me and, and uh, there was one woman that, that started going into this, like talking about how, how her husband was this narcissistic you know, guy and, and, uh, and she, was, she was going through a difficult divorce and it was going to be so painful and it was going to last. And I'm like, stop, stop. Like I had to like stop her minute sentence. It's like, I can't, I can't sit around and keep listening to you manifest this life because she like, we're unconscious. And we, so we use these words and we're complaining and we're whining and, and we're, we're generating our reality based on these words, but we're not even aware. And so I had her stop and was like, stop. Is this what you choose to create? Is this what you want? If, if your word 
was basically your word speaking to the unit, the genie of the universe. Is this what you want to create? Do you want a narcissistic husband? Do you want a painful divorce? Do you want something that's going to last forever? If not, then stop speaking it into existence. And this doesn't mean ignoring reality. It means being intentional about creating a new reality through a new story. Are you with me? Everyone's with me. Chime in and say, I'm with you, right? This is, this is so important. And this is like, like within our tribe, we're kind of word monitors. Like we, 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 we don't listen to other people's BS. BS, of course, stands for belief system, right? These toxic belief systems. So it requires us to become intentional. And so one of the things that we're going to be doing is we're going to have you identify what we call a power question a question that can really serve you and support you. But let's first of all, just identify resourceful questions, questions that bring out more energy, that questions that are built on lies will always suffocate you and make you feel small. That's how you'll know that they are questions you should not be programming in your subconscious because they'll make you feel smaller. But the questions that expand you, that make you feel bigger, that make you feel more empowered, those are the questions we're looking for. So chime in, what, chime in the chat below. What are some of those questions that make you feel good? What are the questions that no matter what are happening, I'll bring out the best in you? How can this be even better? How can I attract pure abundance in my life today? How can I celebrate my blessings today? What else is possible? How can I enjoy and share even more love and light today? How can I experience optimal health today? How beautiful is this world? How can I honor myself today? What can I learn from this? What's great about this? What awesome things can I feel like? experience? How can I feel energy? And notice that these questions then begin driving our focus. If you ask, if you type into Google, why am I so awesome? Then all of a sudden you have hundreds of thousands of reasons that you're awesome, that you're amazing, that your life is on track. What can I be grateful for today? Then your mind becomes hyper tuned to those things because you're intentionally reprogramming it through the power of questions. So I'm going to teach you this principle called a power question. And then your assignment today is going to do what we call a mantra walk. A mantra walk is where you're going to be dedicating five to 10 minutes, ideally 10 minutes, but a minimum of five minutes. And I'm going to have you put on your schedule five minutes where you walk and you repeat this question over and over and over and over and over and over again. If you want extra credit, only if you want to feel more amazing, only if you want to have more awesomeness, only if you want to really um, accelerate it, then maybe take 30 minutes and do it. Maybe you go for a run and you ask the question. But this, this power of a mantra walk, it, it's, like, it's like hyper reinforces the question. So a power question is a question that when you ask it, it, it helps bring out and activate within you the very best version of you. And it helps you align with those things you want. So uh, examples of power questions. Some of you have already um, done this process and I'm going to invite you to lean in and reinforce that same question, or you might even find a new question that you want to use. But I want to get some examples of power questions. Let me share you with mine. So I, I did this Tony Robbins event called Date with Destiny, amazing event. And during that event, he just talked about this, this concept. And the question I found for myself that, that brought out the best with me is this. And you can use this question or you can find your own. But my question was, how can I experience even more of the infinite magic that exists in this moment right now. How can I experience even more of the infinite magic that exists in this moment right now? And so I went for a walk and for 30 minutes straight, how can I experience even more of the infinite magic that exists in this moment right now? How can I experience even more of the infinite magic that exists in this moment right now? How can I experience even more of the infinite magic that exists in this moment right now? And that became a defining question. After 30 minutes of saying it over and over again, it's just my mind was like hyper tuned. It was like, oh my gosh, look at that light. Oh my gosh, feel that. Oh my gosh, look at that person. Like my mind was like, my gratitude capacity expanded 10 times. And it was like, the whole world felt magical and wonderful and, and, and was so incredible. So that's an example of a question. Another type of question might be, how can I embody even more the infinite love that exists within me? How can I experience even more the infinite love? How can I express even more the infinite love that exists within me? How can I 
be a greater force of love, light, and joy on the planet today? How can I experience even more health, energy, and vitality right now? How can I, right, and just, and just notice, how can I, and then even more. So I'm gonna invite you to identify what your power question is. Right now, identify what your power question is, and is type it in the chat below. If you can't think of one, then use someone else's. Find one that like really resonates, and then you might wanna find another one. Like there's, this is the beautiful thing. There's not a limit to how much awesomeness you can feel. There's no limit. You can actually have multiple questions, but find one that you can do a mantra walk in today. You're gonna to be putting it on your calendar, and you're gonna go for a walk, breathing in fresh air, using your body, and repeating that question over and over and over and over again. So let me read some of these questions. How can I connect uh, deeper more to the connection and love now? How can I align even more with love, light, and truth? Um, how can I experience even more miracles today? How can I create even more joy, light, and love with everyone around me today? How can I continue to give, share, serve, share, and allow God's abundance to flow through me right now? I love these. And don't you feel the difference in these words? Can you imagine what happens if your brain is hyper-tuned to create this reality? You want to know the secret to becoming a prosperity producer? To be able to like really drive and create infinite prosperity in your life? It's aligning your subconscious so that these questions are what drive your behavior and you're constantly planting these seeds in your life. How can I experience even more of miraculous abundance this day? How can I experience even more healthy cells within my body? Health, vitality, and energy in my body right now. How can I give even more love to... So these are powerful questions. I'm going to invite you to lean in. In a moment, you're going to be going to your group, and you're going to be sharing with everyone your power questions. But before we do that, we're going to do what we call a mantra manifesto. And what we're going to do is I'm going to play some music, and we're going to take one minute, one minute, and we're going to repeat your question over and over and over again. And, and when I say go, all of you will be taking yourself off mute, and we're going to be doing this for one minute straight, okay? So one minute straight, get your power question ready, and we are going to do this all together. Um, on the count of three, everyone take yourself off mute, and all you're going to be doing, you're not doing anything else but other than saying your question over and over and over and over and over again. Ready? Get set. Go. Everyone take yourself off mute. How can I experience even more? Okay. Can I experience even more of the infinite love that exists within me right now? Can I experience even more of the infinite love that exists within me right now? in your mind, allow yourself to feel that energy flowing through you. Feeling the access to that divine wisdom, that divine love, feeling yourself infinitely connected to source, infinitely connected to all that you need right now. Notice sometimes it's not even about finding the answer, it's just about asking the right questions. 
and being in that question long enough for the universe to guide you in the direction that you need to be. Trusting that you're in the exact right place that you need to be right now. So just be in that question and witness the miracles that happen. So right now, I invite you to make a decision that today you go on a mantra walk. I'm gonna encourage at least 10 minutes. But if nothing more, do at least five minutes. But try to do 10 and maybe only if you want to experience even more awesomeness, even more joy, even more abundance, and maybe, maybe you could do 30 minutes, but I, I don't push it because I don't want you to experience too much awesomeness all at one time. <laughs> um, but go ahead and put it in your schedule right now. Always make sure that you make a decision and put it in your calendar before the time passes. Do that right now. When is this going to happen for you? And uh, in a moment, you're going to be breaking into your groups. You should all know where to go. Um, and in those groups, share with them what your power question is. Share with them what, what you're grateful for and what your takeaway is from this conversation and any other commitments you want. And just know that this is your life. So make it legendary. Um, I want to give one more in invitation. I'm encouraging each one of you to uh, join us for the three-day legendary breakthrough event that happens next week. It's three days of intentionally brainwashing. I'm, I'm just going to lay it out. We're going to brainwash you. How many of you feel like your brains need to be washed, right? We're going to be intentionally doing subconscious reprogramming and teaching you how to clear out the limiting beliefs that have held you back, help you overcome that and give you specific tools to help you show up as your most powerful version of yourself long-term. It is incredibly valuable. And once again, for those of you that are members of the legendary tribe, mm -hmm. tribe members, founding members, it's only $88. You get two tickets for that. Um, but make sure that you join the tribe so you have this powerful influence in your life mm -hmm. ongoing so that these 10 days aren't all that you have. You have the support moving forward. So you go to legendarytribemember.com for that. Mm -hmm. And I'll be sending out an email and text message um, today for all of you that are part of the tribe so that you know how to get yourself and your guests registered for that. So you'll be, uh, you'll be getting that information uh, with the special link. Um, so once again, legendarytribemember.com, just join us. I 100% guarantee you it's gonna be worth 10 times more than you invest. Like it will be an, a mind blowing experience and the tickets for this event, which are normally $497, you get two. And it's just $88, you can cancel anytime, but we hope that you stay part of this legendary soul family for a very, 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 very long time because we got, we got, a, we got a world to change. So I love you guys. Go to your groups now and uh, share with them. And I'm exposed from the tribe page, your experience of the mantra walk. I want to, I want to see some, some posts and some shares from you in terms of what you learn, what you experience and what breakthroughs you have by doing the mantra walk. All right. Go to your groups now. I love you. Go create some Yay, awesomeness. Jeremy. Remember, you are legendary. Thank you. You are legendary. Yeah.